part of the foreign sales of uh, this winery. This is my family's winery. We've been uh, in wine business since many generations. This winery has been founded by my grand-grandfather, Angelo. And uh, now the owners of the winery, the bosses, are my father and my uncles. So it's completely private owned. Each brother takes care about a different part of uh, the winery. And then there is me, my cousin Jessica, and my brother Stefano, which actually now is visiting, the, it's doing the harvest in uh, Argentina, in a, very, in a very nice winery, very famous. And uh, that's the fourth generation. But the, basically the history of the family goes back uh, centuries. The, the family of my father, so the family Pitaro, we are called Pitaro, our family name. But uh, in the local language, which is Friulano, you, everybody know Friulano now, <laughs> uh, we are called Pitas, the, the Pitas in, uh, in Friulian language. So that's where the brand comes from, or truly named in our local language. And this is what we uh, like uh, in our job, in, our, in what we do, that we are very in touch with uh, our heritage and also our terroir, or territory, which is very peculiar. I will take you now upstairs to give you a, a broader view of the estate and tell you a little bit more about uh, this peculiar land, which uh, you will find very different also from uh, the other places that you visited in the same small region. Friuli, it's a beautiful mosaic, and I don't use uh, this word uh, randomly, of uh, different cultures, of different um, also geological sites and uh, of history. So I will give you a, a quick uh, link of uh, where we are. And we are right at the center of the region, so we have a, a nice view of usually the Alps in the north and the Adriatic Sea in the south. Uh, well, we can't see it, but it's uh, about 30, 40 meters, minutes from here. And uh, arriving here, you cross the main river of Friuli, the Tagliamento River, which is uh, a big river. It's uh, one of the last alpine rivers that has uh, a branched um, structure because the bed of the river is so large and it runs mainly, especially in this, uh, in this area, underground, in the underground rivers. So it's the dark line of trees you see in that direction. We are not even a couple of miles from there. And from here to the river there are only fields and uh, vineyards. On the other side of the river, in that direction, you can see the famous hill that makes us uh, very lucky. It's the hill of San Daniele, where the prosciutto of San Daniele is made. Oh, yes, we have that. So it's uh, a very peculiar microclimate and combination of uh, breezes and altitude that makes the fortune of uh, San Daniele. It's, uh, it's the one hill they have these best conditions for drying the legs of uh, the ports that come only from Italy. So only Italian porks, and that are naturally dried uh, by the air, mm -hmm. by the breezes that continuously blow from the mountains to the sea, following the main uh, bed of the river, and uh, also in the opposite uh, direction from the sea to the, to the opposite. But we are very close to the river, or plain where our vineyards uh, lie has been formed in the past a million years by the action of the river, by the million years of floods that uh, created this land. And uh, if you dig in one of our vineyards, you will see 30, 40 centimeters of earth. Closer you go to the vineyard, to the river, the vineyards are not even uh, so tall in, uh, in earth. So there is 30 centimeters of earth and then gravel, stones, for hundreds of meters. 
And uh, it's not a case that uh, we are in the DOC, the denomination called uh, Grave, the subdenomination of Friuli called Grave, because uh, Grave is the same word, it's a Latin uh, root that uh, designs gravely, and Grave in Bordeaux. So it's uh, almost the same composition. There are different layers uh, of uh, limestone, of sands, uh, in different parts of this big area, which is the main of Friuli. And so it changes. Uh, the further you go uh, closer to the, to the sea, the more limestone you get. So different conditions. Here we have uh, this uh, very, very, I would say, magro and uh, difficult soil that made this land very poor till the 60s, but that it's very vocated for viticulture because the less it's a, the production, the better, uh, as you know, is the quality. So we are one of the few wineries uh, around. We are surrounded by uh, big wineries, cooperative wineries like uh, Delizia, like uh, Rauschedo. We are still private owned. We cultivate our vineyards and we bottle at the estate. 